welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying the new My Protein range that's out at Iceland, also known as the Food Warehouse. They've actually bought out quite a big range and I keep seeing it online, so I thought I would give it a go myself. You guys know I'm partial to a microwave meal, so I thought I was quite well placed giving my opinions you know and i know there's a lot of you out there that love a high protein product so i'm going to do you all a favor and test most of the range in today's video i will be sharing the calories and the protein contents of each product just to make you aware in case you don't want to see that but for everyone else please keep watching i hope you enjoy this one if you do please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here let's get on with the video it's time for meal number one and the first one i'm going to go for is the beef pasta bolognese. Here's what the packaging looks like. Okay, the sauce looks evenly distributed from what I can see. This has 38 grams of protein and is 421 calories. And this takes seven minutes to cook. You cook it in the microwave only. There's no instructions of cooking it in the oven in case you wondered. You know what is actually really good about these? You get the little containers and you can keep these for anyone who meal preps has its perks, I guess. Just so you can see it a little bit better, that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna pop this in the microwave. So it's been in the microwave, it's ready to eat. I'm actually gonna eat it out of this because you know, saves on the washing up. It smells okay. I'm quite impressed with the size of the pasta shells. Mm -hmm. I do also wanna say I am partial to a microwave meal. I mean, I don't, mm, I was gonna say, I don't really have frozen microwave meals, but I do like the gym kitchen curry. That's really good. So I might give this better reviews than other people, but first impressions, really nice. I'm gonna finish this and then I'll give you my final verdict. I probably got something in my teeth, so if I do, please ignore that. We are off to a good start. I really like that. I thought it was full of flavor. I would definitely buy that again. Anyway, that's the first meal done. I will see you guys tomorrow. I think I'll be seeing you for breakfast. It's time for me to try item number two, and today we have a breakfast item. So this is the halloumi breakfast. It has 20 grams of protein, 316 calories. It's also a veggie dish. The description is halloumi breakfast with cherry tomatoes, diced potatoes, spinach and omelette in mushroom and tomato sauce. <gasps> I love the way that you look in the packaging. The, well, I don't love, but it just makes me laugh. Cook for five minutes, remove the lid, and then cut the egg into pieces. Well, it definitely looks a bit better than what it sounds, that's for sure. I'm just not so keen on the omelette part because I'm gonna be cooking this for like seven minutes, so that's gonna be one overdone egg. Anyway, let's get cooking microwaving here is what it looks like i won't lie to you i don't think i've ever had a meal resemble airplane food as much as actual airplane food in my whole life it's really not giving and it does smell like airplane food you know it has that distinct smell when you get on an airplane and it's a flight where you get food that is the exact smell anyway let's not judge a book by its cover i'm back on my sofa i feel like this video is just going to be a copy and paste job all week i'm going to be going from my kitchen to my sofa or maybe my dinner table i'm really not looking forward to this i've added a bit of salt and pepper but it's really really giving me the ick and if you know me you will know that i i can be really easily put off food and it makes me go a bit Ugh, just because it like it might actually taste nice but because of the way it looks i'm gonna grow up and get on with it this bit looks like the halloumi so i'm gonna try this first so uh, i'm two bites in and i can tell you i will never get this again it's just like having stew in the morning. All the different components, the textures, the sloppiness, the wateriness is not a vibe, but I'm gonna read it all and I'll let you know what I think of it once I've actually finished it. The breakfast is done. The only good thing about that was the halloumi and even that wasn't great. And I know it's microwave halloumi, so you know, I need to think about my expectations, but I still felt the same at the end of that. It wasn't great and I definitely won't buy it again. Anyway, I'm actually gonna be having two meals today, so I will see you in a bit for my dinner. Hello again, it's now time for meal number three. This one sounds good. This is the katsu chicken with rice. I mean, we're gonna have to do a blob check in every package, aren't we? Let's get cooking. I don't wanna say that. Let's get you know what i mean this one looks promising it smells really good and the breaded chicken bits look good so this has got edamame beans carrot and baby corn baby corn not really my fave a bit of everything on my spoon mm. Mm. i forgot to tell you the details so this has 28 grams of protein and is 531 calories that is actually really nice and the breaded chicken isn't crispy but 
it's not like sloppy soggy it's kind of held the batter this one's definitely my favorite so far i don't even need to come back to you i would buy this again it's really tasty i'm gonna enjoy this so i will see you for meal number four and i'm back i'm here to try another item and yes this is the same person i've got some makeup on today but i am here to try the chicken skewers now i am a little bit sad about this one so these are just the seasoned chicken but i do believe well i'm 99 percent sure that they have another flavor which is the salt and pepper ones i tried at two different shops to get them i couldn't get my hands on them so i just had to go for these ones each skewer is 149 calories and 30 grams of protein oh my god that actually smell oh why did i smell it oh the bag smells disgusting that is actually really good they are huge i'm gonna cook them exactly as they are it says seasoned so i assume there will be some type of flavoring even though they look pretty dead on the photo these take 35 minutes to cook in the oven and you get four in the pack i did see on tiktok that for half the price you can get these one minute also from iceland and they had barbecue flavor tandoori flavor these are 97 calories per skewer and 18 grams of protein so they're definitely a bit smaller but you do get more in the pack and as i said they are half the price so i'll have to try these at another day but i thought i'd let you onto that product because well why not here's what the chicken looks like i'm hoping to god that it's cooked this is how much chicken you get on the skewer i'm not a fan by the way this isn't my dinner i'm just testing it but um so far it has that recooked chicken taste which i fucking hate and I don't know if it's because this is just the seasoned one or if I had added some like Nando sauce onto it or something. But yeah, as far as the chicken breast on its own, the quality of the chicken, not that impressed. I will note though, I am quite fussy with my chicken. So I do get in my own head a bit about it. Yeah, for me, as it comes, not very nice. Anyway, I will see you soon for item number five i think it is i'm back with another item and this isn't like any that i've tried so far so this is the breakfast wrap this says chicken sausage egg and bacon wrap it has 40 grams of protein it's 508 calories and i'm actually dragging my boyfriend in to try this one with me i don't have good vibes about this i won't lie but i thought i would try it because you know we love a surprise oh my god it's hefty it's quite good actually i wasn't I don't know what I was expecting. I'm just worried that it's going to go really soggy. We've got a bit of spillage going on, but it's fine. It's fine. It's definitely lost its shape a bit. It's kind of a bit flat now. And then it's just actually got one huge chicken sausage going throughout it rather than like cut up bits. <laughs> We're going to try and soften the blow with ketchup. You don't want to show his face today. He's feeling a bit shy. Oh, fuck it. Can't get involved. Can't have anything with my ketchup. I know, but look, it's got a massive sausage throughout. All right, come on then. Quick dippers first. A oh, hot. It's actually right. It is actually. Yeah, not bad. I don't know about the chicken sausage part. No, I thought that was quite nice. Okay, I'm gonna try this bit. Quite too. herby. Come on. My side ain't that hot. You must have the hot side. <sighs> Burnt my lip. Would you get it again? No. No, I wouldn't get it again. 5.1. It's just like a little pot of lava. It's not terrible. It's better than I thought it would be. Definitely 5.1. Oh, it's gone down. No, I said 5.1. I thought you said 5.5. No, I said 5.1. Okay. You clean your ears out. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that was hot. It's that bit. But lava. Wow. Hopefully the next one's better, but yeah, this is a no from us. Another day, another meal. Today, we have something a little bit different again, because we haven't had noodles so far, have we? I haven't been filming this over consecutive days. I mean, I do love a microwave meal, but I think I'll be getting sick of the sight of them. Anyway, the point of what I was saying there was, I'm sure we haven't had a noodles meal yet. These are Singapore style noodles. Okay, interesting. This is with chicken and pork. This has 45 grams of protein and 500 127 calories the description of this is egg noodles chicken char siu pork which i have no idea what char siu is and if i'm even pronouncing it correctly carrot spring onion red pepper baby corn in curry flavored sauce mm, okay this one smells really nice here's what it looks like look at the size of this this is huge 
Whoa. <laughs> Let's try a bit of the meat first of all. This is the pork. That is really tasty. Oh, it's a little bit spicy. Chicken. Let's try the noodles. I mean, I know it's curry sauce, but that's got a really good kick to it. Do you know what? I feel like this was probably one of the ones that I wasn't looking forward to. But so far, so good. Let me actually eat it and then I'll give you my final verdict. I finished the noodles. My final review. They were very tasty. They were nice and spicy. My lips are literally on fire i have mixed feelings about it now because it was really good but i just feel like the portion size was a little bit too big by the time i was finishing it it was a bit sloppy would i get it again i probably would to be fair i have eaten this as my lunch today i feel like i should have saved this one as a dinner option it was quite a hefty lunch anyway another meal done i will see you for the next one hello again we are on the final item i have no idea what meal number i'm at because i've been filming this for probably about three weeks now today we are going in for one that i hope is going to be really good this is the chicken tikka with rice it has 34 grams of protein and it is 320 20 calories so i feel like is this the lowest calorie one that i've had well besides the skewers <gasps> here's what it's looking like i'm happy that it actually has bits of pepper in it it's reminding me of the gym kitchen one which is a little higher in calories but it has the same amount of protein and i love that one so it'll be interesting to see how they compare i've also added mango chutney because i can't eat it without let's give it a go i'm gonna try it without a bit of mango chutney because that could cloud my judgment oh my god just so wonky <laughs> My first impression is, is the taste is a bit off. And that bit of chicken was a bit soggy. This is definitely going to be one of those ones where I need to finish it before I give you my verdict. I finished it. My final verdict is it was just okay. Because I know there's a better alternative, as in the gym kitchen one, I personally wouldn't buy that again. I mean, if I had one, I would eat it. The ratio of rice to chicken was off. It felt like there was a lot of chicken and barely any rice. And I stick with my original statement. The texture of the chicken was not great. And the flavour just wasn't it. I'm sad to be ending the video on a not so great note but yeah that is it i tried a lot of things from the range i think my favorite one which potentially could have been the first one i tried that i can remember off the top of my head was the pasta bolognese i thought that one was really nice the katsu chicken with rice was really good but yeah that was it i hope you've enjoyed seeing the range let me know if you like this style of video and if there's anything else that kind of fits this vibe i mean i know they've got like the tgi's range if you haven't already please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here as always thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next one